So will Nigel Bell be an excellent student? <clears throat> Doubtful. We sent him to get some top tips. Ah, yes, seems an idyllic way of life. Waking up in the morning, popping into the garden, grabbing an egg from the hen house, <coughs> and frying it up for breakfast. And more and more people are doing this. Owning hens is very much in vogue, but don't be fooled. There's more to hen keeping than a little bit of chicken feed. That's why training courses are taking off, and why I'm in Netherland with at Rhubarb Farm. Jenny Street, your managing director here. Got a lot of noisy lasses around us. Are we, girls? Holding this hen keeping course in a couple of weeks, why? Well, we think that people should know what they're taking on before they do a hen keeping course. Um, and we find that some people are take, taking on hens and then getting rid of them very soon afterwards because they didn't realise what it involved. And maybe some of them are keeping hens in far too small confined compartments. So what kind of people actually want to take on hens? A lot of, a whole range of people. Not just uh, certain types of people or people in the country, but anybody seems that they want to keep hens. Why? Because they're characters, you get eggs, um, it's animals in the garden, and it seems fun. But actually, it's hard work, and you've got to feed them twice a day, you've got to watch them, you've got to make sure if they're ill, how you deal with them, you've got to clean them out, you've got to feed them, you've got to give them water. You mentioned the eggs, I mean, is that the main reason that people get into it? Because they think it will be nice to wake up and nip down to the hen house and grab an egg? I think so. I think that's that's part of it. Some people, if they've got children, they think it would be nice to have hens with the children. And it is indeed. But again, you've got to uh, know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. They're here pecking in my Wellington boots. They don't, they're, they're pecking all the time, aren't they? They're very curious. <laughs> These are a very calm bird. We've got a hundred here at Rhubarb Farm. So when we run the hen keeping course, we're going to show people how to handle birds and show the facilities that we've got, which obviously is on a bigger scale but uh, we should be adapting it to a, a house, a garden scale. Keep your powder dry, Jenny. We'll talk more about what the course offers in a few moments. But uh, uh, here as well with me is, is Luke Kelly. Luke, fair to say that uh, these hens here and others like them have helped to turn your life around. Uh, yeah, I've come to a volunteer as a volunteer. A bit of depression uh, started to kick in with me. Uh, a few knockbacks in my life. Let's be blunt. Uh, yeah, and, uh, Drugs problems, you've done a bit of burglaring, you've been a in bit, a prison. A bit of everything of that, yeah. All the above. <laughs> <laughs> and, and chickens have been quite therapeutic with me. Um, I've run my own little courses as well, which has helped me gain more confidence around people and all that kind of stuff. What is it about that? Um, <laughs> don't answer your back. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they stupid? No, definitely not. Definitely not. But, um, they're very inquisitive. Um, they can be quite ruthless. There is a pecking order. I think that's where the ends of the the terminology where it goes the pecking order. I think that originated from chickens, if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, I love them. As you say, there's around about a hundred here. Have they all got individual personalities? Uh, yeah. Some are quite aggressive. Some are quite passive type of thing. They all vary. And if it, if it hadn't been for the for the farm here, I mean, how different would your life be, do you think? Uh, Rootbar Farms acts as a, as a safety net for me, because, as I say, uh, I, led, I was on heroin, I was been on that revolving door, and as I've been off that revolving door now for six years, but Rootbar's still a part of my recovery. I'm still recovering, yeah. And these hens are very much part of it. Can you see why people are attracted to them? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think when you keep a small number of hens, you do notice their characters. It comes out because you're able to observe three or four, and they have different personalities, and then you do get to know them. And that's part of the pleasure of keeping hens. A large number like this, you can't know the individual ones. So, they've got personalities, they are attractive in terms of that personality and in terms of laying eggs but uh, it's it's time for me to get hands on i think time for me to get a little lesson in hen keeping so join me in a few minutes to see how i get on oh we will back with nigel in just a moment uh, back to the mice as well because it turns out that male mice sing to female mice sing quite complex songs as well to try and woo them it's like mice karaoke <laughs> how about Sugar and spice and all things mice. <laughs> 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 